When some scientists entered a cave that had been locked for millions of years, they couldn't believe their eyes. You wonder what an ancient cave complex can hide? Well, let's just say that life sometimes finds bizarre ways to flourish in even the most incredible places. And it's not just this cave that gives us disturbing glimpses of ages long past. Stay tuned to find out what frightening, fascinating, and mind-blowing things have already surfaced in the mystical cave worlds. Cave of Mobile The Cave of Mobile in Romania, and in other words, a 5.5 million year old time capsule that opens a vivid window to days long gone. Located near the town of Mangalia, on the shores of a lake, this complex has been slumbering beneath the surface for at least 500,000 years. In detail, it would take until 1986 before Christian Lascu discovered the structure, thus opening the door to a hidden world that can be confidently described as extreme. This already starts with the access to the cave. If you want to reach the underground cavity, you have to conquer a water vein from a depth of 400 meters, which on top of everything else, is extremely sulfurous. The same applies to the atmosphere inside the cave itself. The oxygen content there is 66% lower than outside. In the same breath, the proportion of cave carbon dioxide exceeds that in the outside air by a hundredfold. Against this background, it seems almost unbelievable that the Mobile Cave is home to a fully developed ecosystem despite this. So far, researchers have been able to identify no less than 69 different species here, more than 30 of which do not appear in any other place in the world. The cave animals include spiders, leeches, and so-called pseudoscorpions, as well as centipedes, isopods, and even a snail. The latter, however, might not have been native to the cave from the beginning, but only belonged to the animal community for two million years. Especially exciting? Without exception, we are dealing with prehistoric animal species that have adapted perfectly to the merciless environment over the course of time. For example, some creatures have completely regressed their eyes or the color pigments of their skin. Especially puzzling? We have no idea how the animals managed in detail to adapt to the oxygen-poor atmosphere. The only thing that is certain is that one pillar of the ecosystem is based on the existence of sulfur bacteria. These form a biofilm on the water, on which fungi grow, on which other creatures feed. And if the creatures manage to defy even the most adverse requirements, why shouldn't they have succeeded in other places on Earth, or in other places in the universe? Enigmatic Structures Thousands of years ago, some Neanderthals followed a puzzling procedure. By the light of torches, our extinct relatives spent hours tearing one stalagmite after another from the cave floor, removing the top and the base, and carefully laying them side by side. In this way, not one, but two circular structures were created. But what was the strange ritual all about? practiced 175,000 years ago in a cave near the French city of Toulouse is an unsolved mystery. But the very fact that it was practiced gives us a rare glimpse into Neanderthal social organization. The days when we thought this species of genus Homo was crude and unintelligent are long gone. Thus, archaeological evidence suggests the pressing conclusion that Neanderthals could think symbolically that they had basic knowledge of chemistry, medicine, as well as cooking, and possibly even possessed some language ability. In fact, they may have even taught modern humans a new craft skill when the two species met and interbred. Altamura Man Deep in the heart of a great cave system, amidst countless stalactites, slumber the remains of an individual that was always the focus of heated debate. What we do not know is that the so-called Altamura Man was recovered in 1993 from a cave near the namesake town of Altamura, Italy. What we don't know, however, is what species of the genus Homo we are dealing with here in detail. Originally categorized as Homo heidelbergensis and subsequently as Neanderthal, assignment as Homo sapiens is also not ruled out. Dated to an age of about 130,000 years, the fossil impresses above all those with its almost complete degree of preservation. Experts assume that the Altamura man injured himself when he fell into the cave and then got lost in it. 
Unable to find an exit in the absolute darkness and unable to climb out, he surrendered to his fate and died. Although the Altamira Man still rests in the cave, it is not possible to visit it. The complex is closed to visitors. Ancient Vegetables What did our ancestors actually eat 170,000 years ago? Well, the unique remains found in the cave in Africa suggest that the paleo diet included lots of roasted, carbohydrate-rich vegetables. In 2016, a team of researchers from the University of Witwatersand in South Africa discovered dozens of charcoal fragments, and in them, ultimately, traces of a plant of the genus Hypoxis. In detail, these were the remains of so-called rhizomes, stems that grow underground. In terms of their carbohydrate content, the rhizomes of hyproxis plants are comparable to potatoes, even if they are more reminiscent of sweet potatoes in terms of taste. Although the seeds of root vegetables and other plants have already been found at an 800,000-year-old site in Israel, this find embodies the earliest evidence of food roasting. Chauvet Cave no post about the most sensational cave finds of all time without Chauvet Cave in France. In fact, if you will, we are looking at a Stone Age art exhibit. Tracked down in 1994 by recreational archaeologist Jean-Marie Chauvet, the more than 400 murals with their 1,000 painted animals and symbols bear witness to how our ancestors perceived the world around them. Radiocarbon dating suggests that the cave, located near the small town of vallon pondiac was used by humans over two periods. The first period, about 37 to 33,500 years ago, was followed by the more recent phase of use, which began about 31 to 28,000 years before our time. Whether woolly rhinoceroses, horses, eagle owls, or deer, the depicted animals, which are characterized by a remarkable variety, prove the artistic talent our ancestors possessed. However, studded with countless details, scientists are still puzzling over the purpose the paintings had at the time. The evidence gathered so far suggests that the artworks were created as part of cultural and ritual acts. If you are hoping to see the cave paintings up close, we have some bad news for you. The Chavay Cave is not allowed to be entered by civilians. The risk is too high that the air you breathe will cause a change in the humidity of the air and thus lead to fungal infections. Even the professional researchers are only allowed to stay here for a few hours, and even that, only for a few weeks a year. Oldest Wine in the World It is said that wines get better with age, but what happens when the wine in question is not just a few decades old, but several millennia old? In a cave in Armenia, archaeologists have unearthed an ancient wine press, fermentation and storage vessels, drinking cups, as well as withered vines, skins, and seeds. The special thing? This very cave had already made the headlines before this find, when researchers tracked down the oldest known leather shoe here. While this was made about 5,500 years ago, the production of wine probably took place between the years 4100 and 4000 BC. The exact identity of the ancient leather shoe wearing wine drinkers remains a mystery but the wine was probably used in ceremonies held to honor the dead. Thus, the experts found 20 graves around the wine press, and significantly, many drinking cups were found in the immediate vicinity of the graves. The Cannibal Grave Absolutely disturbing scenes took place in Gove's Cave in the English county of Somerset 14,700 years ago. Humans were preying on their own kind, dismembering their remains and gnawing their flesh down to the bone. But what had it with the backgrounds of this frightening cannibalism on itself? Did the cave dwellers act out of a great famine? Did they not know how to help themselves in their desperation? Well, not quite. If one follows the statements of the experts, then the human flesh was eaten in the context of a holy ritual. That the recovered bones were clearly gnawed on by human teeth was never in question given the unmistakable teeth marks. However, some bones also show signs of cutting, and three skulls were even reshaped so that they could henceforth be used as bowls. Again, among the most fascinating discoveries are the zigzag notches carved into a forearm bone. At this point, we should not forget one thing. While cannibalism is a cruel, disgusting, and terrifying practice to us, 
In a historical context, it can tell us a lot about the complexity of a group. Accordingly, the gnawed and decorated bone remains testify to the fact that the people of the time manifested a higher belief in their actions, no matter how strange it may seem from today's perspective. The skeletons have no signs that indicate the dead were killed by force. Very likely, they died a natural death. Possibly, the engraving of the bones should serve the memory and or the reverence. Perhaps, researchers speculate, cannibalism was just a macabre way of burial. Different in implementation, but with the same meaning as cremations, burials, and mummifications. And with that, thanks for watching. Feel free to leave us a thumbs up and a subscription to support us for free, and stay up to date at the same time. Have a look at the other exciting videos of our channel, which we have linked for you in the credits. But now we need your opinion. What do you think about the unique ecosystem that has developed in Mobile Cave? And what goes through your mind in view of the frightening cannibalism in Gove's Cave? We look forward to your comments.